Okay, Crystal, it's been a week since you did your kitchen minimalizing. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we wanted to make sure everybody understood was that part of getting this stuff out of your rooms is to get it out of your house. Right? So where is your stuff now? Definitely. I couldn't wait to get it out. Once I've made that decision, I'm ready for it to be gone. Like, I've already mentally parted with it. So... I was done. Um, I found out that my son's preschool will be having a garage sale fundraiser. So the bulk of it went there. Cool. Um, a couple things went to my mom that she could use. And uh, a couple of the appliances, my crock pot that I'd hardly used, um, digital stainless steel, I did consign that, and my cuisine art sorbet mm -hmm. maker thing I can sign that as well so yeah I got rid of all of that kitchen stuff is gone cool now we'll flip to me alrighty so where did you end up taking your kitchen stuff actually most of my kitchen stuff went to new to you mm -hmm. um, that was really rewarding I thought uh, I think there was a lot of great stuff in there that will really help Ben so that's where it all went. I did give uh, my china to my sister-in-law. I think I've mentioned that, so that was awesome. She had this out and I didn't even know it, so. Cool. Do you want to explain to our viewers from further away where, what new to you is? Oh, sure. Um, it is a, a second-hand store, um, a non-profit. So I believe its profits go to help people in the community. I'm yes, sure. that's correct, yeah. So, so that's always Awesome, cool. yeah. So going somewhere where you know people can use it and moving it along. Have you missed anything from your kitchen? No, actually. Um, I thought I would. <laughs> but uh, surprisingly, I like the space more. I like being able to get to that stuff. That's uh, much, much easier. And it's easier for the kids to get to stuff. My kids are becoming pretty independent, so they like to be able to cook their own thing so a lot of the stuff is now reachable for them so that's been good right. so have they actually commented on the kitchen your family your husband your kids my husband has um is he liking it he's liking it he uh, didn't like that corner cupboard very much the bane of our, the bane of our existence yes so he's glad to get rid of stuff good good so all in all a good experience oh yeah definitely, definitely. awesome I recommend it <laughs> Um, now we, like I have some, some toys and things that I've been getting rid of. Um, yeah, we've been minimizing some other rooms as we've been playing along a little bit here and there. Right, and I found, actually I just put it on my own Facebook profile, I didn't even put it on a group, so to speak, like a buy and sell, I guess, or Kijiji or anything. I thought I'd just try, just whatever, I had the pictures and post them on Facebook and I've it worked really well. Yeah, so far <laughs> it's going really well, that's so true. that's exciting. And I'm thinking of doing the same thing with my books. I have a lot of bestsellers, so um, why not see if I can get a couple bucks for them? And... Excellent. Yeah. Um, let's tell our viewers about our weekend. We had a little bit of an adventure with our kids. Crystal and I took our kids. Um, we wanted to get rid of some of their stuff. Um, they've been keeping some of their things, so my kids got rid of a bunch of their preschool, kindergarten type games, and as well as some children's books. And so we actually went to Once Upon a Child for that, mm -hmm. and they were pretty excited. They got uh, $66 of stuff, and Becca got some new jeans, so she was excited about that. And um, yeah, I actually I blogged about that a little bit, what we learned about uh, spending money. Right. So it was a good experience. Yeah. Yeah, I found some items for my um, eight-year-old that has recently just had a growing spell. Yeah. <laughs> has outgrown a lot of her pants and things. So, you know, good quality items for probably a third of the price. Exactly. Um, maybe more than you'd pay at, say, a garage sale or something, but definitely stuff that's been taken care of. Yeah. And so we were pretty excited. I got her four pairs of pants and two pairs of shoes, one of which was Skechers, which so I'd consider that a brand name, um, for 30 bucks. 
Cool. Didn't get a whole lot for our stuff, but yeah, no, I think all in all a pretty good experience. We also discovered at um, one of the stores that they have a new program where they offer um, bucks back for the right. returned clothes. What store was that again? That was Please Mom. Please Mom. And uh, you can take any clothes into them and they actually donate them to, where is it? Um, World Vision, World I Vision, believe. Which is very cool. So that just started February 1st and um, you bring in your gently used children's clothing to a Please Mom store and receive, they call them green backs. You receive yeah. them back. Um, and they're like money off coupons to be used towards in-store purchases. It's kind of a win-win, a really. Yeah. You, you know your clothing items are going to places all over the really world. Them, yeah, for, for children that could really use them. Um, and they said it could be anywhere, like whoever's needing it the most. So. And they said something about denim being in short supply, so they were doubling their bucks or something. For denim, for the that's spring. right. I think they said something about that. So yep. Very, very good cause, and another great way to get rid of stuff that your kids have outgrown. So Definitely. You need to hang on to that stuff. Yeah. So that was, that was all good. Um, I think, was there anywhere else we... We did go on a little adventure to Value Village, because I was looking for a particular French press that I broke two days after we met all the lies. <laughs> um, because I'm, I'm quite determined to try not to buy things brand new because there's all these great stores that have gently used items and I mean really why, why do I have to have it brand new? Right, and we're putting all of these things into our landfills, mm -hmm. making the world not as good of a place as it could be yeah. for our children. Yeah. So we're trying more to buy quality stuff second hand which I think is awesome and I think taking our kids on this little adventure and, and looking for stuff um, we ended up, we did buy um, an Xbox, a used Xbox at EB Games mm -hmm. big long story about that on, on the blog but um, I think it's a good lesson to teach the kids too that you, know, you don't have to have everything brand new Becca got these awesome jeans these apple bottom jeans that right. I didn't even know what the heck they were but yeah but obviously a brand that she loved and for 12 bucks. I mean, so she was excited because it was something that she could afford. Right. So, you yeah. know, teaching them, I think that's a valuable lesson to learn. Exactly. They don't have to have the hundred pair, hundred dollar pair of jeans exactly. to look good. Yeah. Yeah. And um, get some good wear out of some, some quality jeans. Yeah. So that's good. So I think it's important to get your kids involved in, in this challenge and, help them learn a little bit about why, why you're trying to do it and uh, to place less value on the stuff. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah. yeah. It's a great lesson for the kids. Um, can't think of anything else. You? No. Just wanted to share some insights with you on what we did. Definitely. And I do have a document online for um, places you can donate and can sign. And Shauna's new blog post called Oh Minimalist Money. Minimalist Money. Yeah. Uh, both on our website, www.simplelifecelebrations.com. Thanks. Great, thanks.